Hey guys, Scott here. Hope you're having a great week. So we've been doing lots of things here at HQ. We've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of building stuff in the studio. So follow me. We're gonna go and have a look. Oh, it's getting slightly warmer here in jolly old England. Although it's very wet elsewhere. Uh, we haven't done a lot in my brother's shed recently, um, but we're going to have a little studio tour of that, I think maybe at some point to show you what we've done in here, because I've been teasing it for a while, um, but yeah, we've done some cool stuff in there. Anyway, up to see today. So let's pause here for a moment. So, uh, I think this is new from last time. I don't think we had this little sort of like relaxation area, but I thought we uh, we used to have a temporary greenhouse here and we ripped it down because um, we didn't need it anymore. And so we just had a bit of dirt here, essentially. It was a bit pretty ugly. So we went and got some more pea shingle and we had this old bench elsewhere in the garden. So we thought, oh, this would be a cool thing. Like when you're recording in the studio, you can come out, you know, have, have a drink, have a smoke, whatever, just relax here, you know, in the garden, chat about stuff and then go back in. And, uh, you know, I got a cheeky, cheeky wee greenhouse. You can have a peek in at the tomatoes when they're in bloom later in the summer. But anyway, um, left this can out. This is the, uh, this is the glue we've been using for the mass loaded vinyl, which we're going to have a look at. Um, <laughs> oh man. I'm covered in this stuff right now, by the way. I've just, just finished doing around, and I'm exhausted. I'm ready to get some Uber Eats. Come inside. Boom. Welcome back to Superton Studios. So, as you can see, I'll step out of the way for a sec. Uh, you just see you've got this, uh, this black stuff on the wall, uh, which is called Mass Loaded Final, which is kind of uh, a final version of lead. Um, that's not as toxic as lead. Um, and so I've just been sticking this up on the wall. So we've got it all the way around, as you can see. So you've got it on this wall, you've got it over here. And there's, there's patches where it's not on the wall yet. Just because you cut it off in these big chunks, you stick it on. And uh, you just, you don't have the piece to fit that bit yet. Um, so we're going to keep going with that. So, but we've used up, we've used up three out of the 12 sheets. Uh, so far, which uh, it feels good. We've made progress and uh, getting the stuff on the wall is tricky. So if we come over here quickly, where my, my brother has decided to write his name on. Uh, my brother does all my artwork. He's awesome. So definitely check out his stuff. Anyway, um, we started off, uh, me and Alex, <laughs> we started off putting these big, big, big chunks of it on, which was, we thought, oh, we'll get it done quicker. But it was really difficult. It, this stuff is so heavy. Just lifting up this bit here. Oh, it's so, so heavy. Uh, just You just imagine doing a much bigger chunk like that. We were just, our arms were aching. We only managed, in our first sitting, we did these four chunks here. And we were just, we were dead afterwards. So we decided, right, we'll, we'll take a chill pill there. And then behind my, uh, my painting of Ian Brown. Uh, we, we, I started doing it in smaller chunks by myself. And, uh, and yeah, that I was able to get a big chunk of it done in one day. Uh, it starts getting awkward when you get around these little corners, like around the fence, getting around there, because you have to cut off little bits and make sure there's no gaps. So it just takes a lot of focus and a lot of energy, especially down here. If we see down here, you've got the, uh, the plugs doing all the stuff around the plugs. Oh, wow, that was that was something. And so what you do is you cut it into shape as best as you can. And uh, I'm not great with measurements, so hence it's a bit uneven all over the place. But um, you cut it into place and then you, you go back outside, you spray it down, you spray the piece of wall you're going to stick it onto, then you stick it on the wall and you hope to like perfectly align it. But it doesn't just, it's not perfect the first time around. So you have to rip it off and stick it back on again and, and hope to get it as good as it can be so you know there's been one or two panels where we've got it on absolutely perfect but actually most of the time it's not 100% perfect and you're you're cutting off little bits at the bottom so you've got off cuts um what has been really essential in this process is uh, staples so 
yeah, been using the staple gun a lot. We finally run out of staples, so I've got to go to screw fix in a bit and get some more. But boom, yeah, stapling in the corners. Um, you know, I mean, the glue, it's good. It's good. It's not perfect. You know, I guess if it was super, super strong, I'd probably be like stuck to a can right now trying to remove it from my hand or stuck to a wall so i'm glad it's not uber super strong but still it's it's okay it's okay stuff um so yeah this is the bit we've just recently done i'm sort of like marking it bl br tl tr to tell me like which corner bottom left top right etc um so that's been a that's been happening and Oh man, I'm so pooped out. I'm so <laughs> pooped out. But I'm excited, like, stuff's happening. Um, and yeah, we've done three rolls now. So we're a quarter of the way through the process. Um, ceilings is gonna be the most difficult part, I imagine. I imagine next time I do one of these, we'll probably either have the, the rest of the walls covered or we'll have started on these. I think for these, just because of how heavy they are and the glue and everything, we're gonna have to cut it into much smaller chunks than these. Um, these have been manageable, but you know, still heavy, but oh, yeah, ceiling's going to be a nightmare, I imagine. But, um, there's something, there's something to it, you know, there's something to getting your hands dirty and actually getting into the building of it, you know, so far we've been getting builders in to do stuff, but actually doing it, doing it myself and doing it with my brother, you know, it's been, been kind of fun and you kind of feel like doing something physical with your hands, you've like really like accomplished something. So much of writing songs is that you're, you're creating stuff that's almost intangible, you know, um, it doesn't have a physical form. So doing something very physical like this, you know, it's very gratifying. So um, yeah, we'll head, we'll head back outside and it conclude the, oh man. Good, my brother didn't hit his head. <laughs> So yeah man, um, so it's a big chunk of it's done and it's starting to get sunnier um, which helps because when it's blistering cold you don't want to go outside the house, you don't want to, um, yeah you don't want to do anything essentially, you just, you, even though it's a short walk to the shed you're just like I just don't feel like it today, <sighs> but um, yeah. It's, it's good, it's good. Hopefully burning off some of this as well, that'll help. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this little studio tour interesting, intriguing. Uh, I've been Scott, stay awesome, and uh, see you next time. Peace.